It has been two years since, well, close to two years since James Harris was elected to the school board. He has gone from a newly elected board member to the board leadership now as vice president of the Board of Education. And this is the first time that we've had him in studio uh, here at KDOL Spotlight. And I'm excited to hear just how his journey has been and what we can see in the visions he has for the future for the school board. So welcome. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm glad to have you. I mean, two years, I mean, it hasn't even been a full two years yet. And now you are vice president of the school board. So first, we want to know how was the first year? <laughs> and then and then and then like, what is then, it like to now be part of the board leadership? But what, what was the first year like? Was it what you expected? It was uh, it's kind of like uh, getting on a roller coaster and um, not being able to get off. Right. So it, it wasn't what I expected. Um, because it was, you know, you have these ideas. I talk to a lot of candidates now that are running and they say all these things. You try that we're to tell do, them. Right. And I'm like, boy, right. How green they are. And I was just that green mm -hmm. coming in. So you never realize the actual work. Of being and there's in. no handbook like there's no you cannot tell the people running now that what they can expect when they come in because you, you just don't. It's not like you can't understand it until you're actually in the seat. And it's true. You really have to make decisions on something that happened maybe before you even were elected. And now as you're sitting there, it's on you. It's on know. you, right? No excuses, right, right? right? No excuses. And so there is no handbook, though there could be one. Right. But it, I don't think you could glean much from it because you have to be in it and you have to be doing it. So, well, you've been really quite great. busy since you've been there because when we first, I think it was two weeks in, you and um, Director Torres and I went on the ride along mm -hmm. with the police chief of the Oakland Public Schools police force right. to the different school sites. So you were looking at the public safety and just looking at the different sites. That's right when you came on. And then not earlier this year, you all championed the extending the uh, local business program to 50% right. for the capital, the bond money for using, utilizing local businesses, 50% mm -hmm. requirement. So there's been a lot of great work in a short period of time. Yeah. So what are you thinking is you're going to be your next thing for this next? Well, week? next things, I mean, you know, this year working really closely uh, with, with leadership, with Antoine Wilson, you know, getting him transitioned in. But the things we're, we're most passionate about this year really aren't changed. It's our priorities around high schools. We really want to make Oakland a place where you can go and get a complete education in a public setting right. uh, where now is the case you you know that's not the case you know people in Oakland don't fully believe they have started to believe in Oakland Tech but we want to replicate that success right. at Fremont at Castlemont at McClymonds uh, at Madison Park so we want to do that and and that means an investment in our people and I think we want to say loud and clear to to our teachers to our principals we love you we support you and we're going to invest money we're going to invest resources in improving you yeah. as a teacher, in supporting you, in making you better leaders and better teachers. And so we really want to fatten up that pipeline in Oakland and let people know, you know what, don't believe the hype. We're turning things around. We're investing in our people. Yeah. Good work. Do you have anything you want to leave us with to say any gold nuggets, wisdom for our, our students out there? No, I, for the students, I would say, you know, keep pressing. You know, I, I, for as, as, as a student myself, I never truly believed that as an 18-year-old, a 16-year-old, I could actually make an active effort to change things, to change things for myself, to change things for my family. I would say in this day and age, with the internet, with the digital access you have, you can be a 12-year-old millionaire. You can be a 12-year-old. We've seen instances across the country right. of 12-year-olds who, through funding, through awareness campaigns, have changed have changed their lives as right. well as the lives of the, the people around them. So it's never too early. Right. Never too early to be accountable. It's never too early to start pushing, you know, that you can be better, that your city can be better. So do it. Well, thank you. Glad we finally got you in studio. Glad to we be here. We haven't been so busy. We had to catch you out in the on the run in the yeah. field. So, yeah, good to see you. Good. Great work. Thanks for having me here. Sure. Congratulations. Bye. You've been watching Spotlight with Shonda Scott. Today our Spotlight was on Vice President James Harris of the Oakland Unified School District Board of Education, where we have every student thriving. Thank you for joining us.